Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and I'm here with a photo of the week. And this photo, well, being that it wasn't taken this week, it was taken a little while ago, is of Matis Yahoo. So I'm going to show it to you in a second, but I really want to tell you about it before you see it. It, it, it was one of those photos that, you know, I was going for something. Uh, I have a plan going into each day of the shoot that I am on tour. One day I may be wanting, you know, I may want to focus on uh, tight shots or crowd shots or wide shots or shots from the stage getting, you know, Matis in them. Uh, for this particular picture that you're going to see shortly, I was going for wide angle shots from the pit. Uh, I wanted to get his name in the background, which was on the banner. And, you know, I was going through my photos, doing my initial selections, which I did, and I didn't make a big deal out of the photo I saw. I thought that maybe it would work out. That's what I do. I take the photos that I think I'm going to edit, and I give them a star rating. So you can do whatever you want. I do mine as a five star, and then what I do is I just only show five stars, and those are the ones that I edit. Well, when I came up to this particular image and started to process it, and, and I was just surprised about what I saw as soon as the picture came to life I started to put my edits in there and then boom the image stood out and was like oh wow uh, I it, it's very difficult to get those those shots that you come across that make you go wow this should be the new shot that they end up using uh, you've all seen the older shot that I did that Matis has been using for his um, summer tour it's a great shot as well but I think Maybe I'm just tired of seeing that. This one, I believe, is the next one that he will end up using. So let's look at it. All right, here it is. Um, yeah, yeah. of course. First thing I noticed when I looked at it, I said, oh, I cut his toe off. But that's me. I, I'm like, I looked. I'm like, oh, boy, there's part of his toe is cut off down here at the bottom. And I'm like, ah, boo. But you know what? That's not what it was all about. It was all about... It's the light in the background. The light is coming in. His his hand is out. He's in a cool a cool stance, and it just is like boom, Matis. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the edit here. I mean, I'm still tweaking a little bit here and there, you know, to see what looks better. I think it looked a little too green, so I'm just gonna pull some of that green out and add some magenta. But you know, I saw this photo. And let, let me let, uh, let's go into what it was shot at. One four hundredth of a second. F three point two. ISO sixty four hundred. 14 millimeters using the 14 to 24. What I set out to do this particular show is try to get photos of Matis with his name in the background uh, because this was the first of the... Uh, I did four shows for him on in four days and this was the first show that they actually hung the banner. So it was right there. Matis is tough to shoot wide shots of because he's got monitors. He has four monitors in front of him you know, because he doesn't wear in-ears. So there's four monitors just putting the music back at him and that makes it difficult to get a full body wide angle shot. But in this case, you know, we were at a semi high stage. Uh, I guess it was about, uh, it was about chest level, maybe it's slightly higher. And you know, let's let's look at it. You know, why am I at 6400? I'm at 6400 because I wanted a faster shutter speed and I wanted to be able to shoot at 3.2, not at 2.8. I wanted to give myself a little bit of leeway just in case there, there's some movement when I'm when some movement of Matis you know, after I lock my focus, I was probably in continuous focus for this because he moves a little bit. I don't recall if I was in continuous or not, but but I was in autofocus. Uh, I was manually setting my settings for the light because I, you know, if you were set, if you set this camera to aperture priority and you got this light within your matrix metering, this is what your photo would have looked like. And that is not savable. That is what happens if you leave on, say, if you're not using spot metering when you're shooting wide angle, or if you're, um, or if you're relying on the matrix meter in aperture priority. It's going to read for those really bright lights, and you'll be just SOL when you go and just look at your. Well, basically, you're SOL because you're going to look at a shutter speed of instead of one four hundredth of a second, you're going to see something like one two thousandth of a second, and you know it's not that bright out. So. This, you know, you look down here at the bottom, you've got the two monitors. You got that triangle there, boom. You got this triangle there, boom. You've got you've got um, uh, Dave here on his keyboards, and uh, da, 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 da. you've got the other guy. Why can't I remember his name right now? Uh, Stu. You got Stu right here on his keyboards, 
and you can't really see Joe, the drummer, back here. But I just love the moment that is captured here. Mont you know, you've got the light coming in, you've got the hand out, you got him singing. It just is like one of those heavenly things, you know? It's it just plays into the whole persona, and it, it and it just felt right when I processed this image, and I saw it come to life. I really did go, oh, <laughs> because you know. It doesn't happen all the time. I didn't think that I got that image that surpassed that that other one that I have of Matis from uh, before, which is, uh, you know, I have it back there, wherever it is. But you've seen it. I'll pop it up on the screen. Um, so this is it. This is the photo of the week captured in Virginia at the Norva. Really cool venue. They have a lot of light. Uh, and in this case, this image just fell into place. I didn't know it was there until I edited. I mean, I saw it, but then when I edited it, 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 it came to life, and it went boom, and I love it. And that is the photo of the week for this week. Uh, I do expect to show you the, a lot more, maybe not all of the Matis photos, but there's a great amount of photos. His kids were on the road with him, and as soon as I landed in South Carolina and got to the venue, the kids were playing, and I just started shooting photos. And, and you know, when I do a tour wrap-up or something, when I show you a lot of the photos, I'll just tell you that I made the conscious decision beforehand to do no video. I really wanted to make a video tour, you know, uh, something like I did with Sinai. I wanted to do photos and video, but I knew by myself out there, I couldn't do both. And I'm glad I stuck with my guns and just did photos. Because if I didn't, if I tried to get video of the kids playing, well, I would have missed those awesome shots, uh, the awesome still images of the kids playing. So I'm glad I didn't do video in this case. So that's it. That's a photo of the week. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.